Attack on Cloudbase is singularly, I think, one of my favourite, in my top 10 favourite bits of television ever. I think it is beyond perfect because there was no internet then. There was no spoilers. I thought that was the last episode. <laughs> so when Colonel, I did. And I was absolutely beside myself. When Colonel White was spinning round, I couldn't believe what I was seeing because the writers and your dad had put me in a position as a kid where I absolutely believed there could be a bad ending. And that has stayed with me all nice. my life. I just thought it was wonderful. I thought it had a truth to it as well. I don't know if it spoke to my dark adolescent self. <laughs> I was early teens by this stage, but it just had such a truth to it. I adored it. It's one of the first things I brought on iTunes. And I have it on, and every so often I'll watch it and it'll still thrill. Yeah. I have to say, the bit that I adore is when Captain Blue says, Captain Scarlet's dead. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. There he is. And the doctor's Captain Black. And I was like, oh, this is terrible. This is the, <laughs> the worst thing that's ever happened. Ever. This is just awful. This, how are we going to get out of this? This is, oh, yeah, it was bad. But so you, great. You, you really, really believed oh, it. I promise you, I can see it now. That never occurred to me. It had anything to do with a crushed angel having a nightmare in the desert. Never occurred to me. <laughs> it didn't even come into my consciousness that that could be a possible outcome. I don't know what I thought, but I knew when Colonel White started spinning, I was in meltdown. I just couldn't get my head around it in a great way, in a truly great way. Yeah. Gosh, I mean, clearly you are a fan. You've enjoyed Captain I Scarlet. Am. To some degree, I get the feeling, Ray. Right? But <laughs> Do you know what? But only about four months ago, I brought the Haynes manual. Of... <laughs> and I just adore it. Because, <laughs> and I, I tell you, the Captain, the Captain Black, I love the background of all the characters. And, yeah. and, and it just, again, I just get the feeling that everything in your dad's world was so well thought out and rounded and full and captain black's orphanage backstory you know this left during after some a big atomic war and it, it just oh i thought this is even better than i remember it and it's rare that that happens nostalgia is usually rose tinted but in it this is. case it was even it, yeah it is inevitably it is because we forget all the bad bits and we just concentrate on the good bits but Oh, just wonderful. Uh, the you, the detail so is a thrill. I'll be in love forever. forever. Have, have you Not seen the, the Blu-ray versions? No, because I haven't got a Blu-ray player. Oh, right. When you get there, you're going to experience Captain Scarlet in a whole new way. It is so beautiful. Where so beautiful. For you, where does it rank for you? In, ah. in, in... <laughs> well, I'm a bit of a weirdo because I grew up uh, watching Terror Hawks, which is... Oh, when... That's fine, because I remember that as well, and I loved it too. Oh, good. Okay, um, well, we can talk about Terror Hawks too. So that was my first experience, so that was kind of exciting. And then really, it's kind of, bizarrely, Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet kind of draw in second place, although I know they're so different, but I often found Colonel White to be a bit of a dullard. What? What? Whoa! I, I know, <laughs> I know. I, I think it's because I would watch Thunderbirds and uh, the caricaturing and stuff kind of gave it a separation from reality and a, and a levity that, for me, balanced stuff with Jeff Tracy's paternal stuff. But there was a paternal warmth with him, where, as with, yes. with Colonel White, it was a paternal chill <laughs> with him. And there was no there was no humour and warmth in the rest of the show to really balance it out, other than no, Scarlet no, being a bit flirty with the angels. No, this, whoa, you're missing out on loads of nuance. <laughs> this is just wrong. Okay, tell me about the nuance of Captain Scarlet I'm well, missing out on. Just think, just think about Attack on Cloud Base. If that is, sorry, I forgot which Angel's Dream it is. Is it Destiny? I think it's Destiny, yeah. But okay, if this is her dream, then it must to some degree be based on a reality that she's experienced. So Colonel White gets very, very upset in a military style way at the death mm. of Captain Scarlet. He shows emotion. And Lieutenant Green says, steady, Colonel. And he responds to that and says, thank you. That is, good God, if that happened in an actual drama, like featuring humans, you'd be really touched. This is a guy fighting a war 
and he's, you know, he's lost his best soldier and he's lost the plot for just a second. And his subordinate, Lieutenant Green, says, Colonel, you know, you need to just, you know, come on. And he just takes it on board. I think that is beautiful. I honestly do. 